like it has something that's very important that other schools lack, which is a small community and everybody knows everybody is a quite friendly community. I think it's very important to have that in a school. silly but because not high school and it kind of goes back to what you were saying a minute ago Mr. Cordero the fact that in middle school you can be yourself a lot more freely and you can also I think enjoy the learning experience without the pressure of having to just succeed all the time and that also gives you um, three years which in a sense is far more time than you get in high school to be able to master something be able to adopt the skills and then apply them. Um, and I think that makes the whole learning process in a way uh, far more memorable. I think having the opportunity to move to a, a smaller school from a, a larger school that was teaching the same class four times a day is very attractive. So now I get to teach middle school, all levels of middle school, and few high school classes and there's never a dull moment in my day. And as soon as I was hired I knew it was a good choice because I was bombarded with emails from faculty and, and staff uh, trying to support me. So when I came here I knew it was already going to be a very supportive environment. Very community oriented and that everybody has a part to play or a role. It's kind of all hands on deck, which to me strengthens the bond of the community members. Um, I liked the school's mission statement and their vision. It appealed to me. It's kind of on level with what I believe education should be about. just coming in, they've never had to be so responsible with their materials and so organized because they're transitioning from mm -hmm. um, point A to point B all day long. And it's not enclosed. It's not this inclusive environment where everything is there for them like their house. So they have to learn how to be prepared for the next step in every day. Um, they have to learn to think ahead and to have a system for organizing and Elmo helps to provide that. Um, and it also gives them a time in the very beginning of the day when they're moving from I'm not at school to I'm at school. So they're getting their things together, thinking about their day, preparing for what's ahead and moving kind of gradually into this is how I behave in this environment and this is what's expected of me. So I think it's a good transition period. Adventures. Adventures is a trip that we take with the entire middle school and it's usually in this uh, type of open air camp that has loads of activities, loads of turn. What did I learn from it? I learned that it was a good experience for, for kids to grow. Inside of the classroom they don't get much interaction with other grade levels, but here they had an opportunity to interact with each other in situations that they don't normally experience inside the classroom. My favorite thing about middle school is gay violence. Yeah. This is the Venezuelan Association of North American Schools. It was really to support the team. I helped out off the court, making sure that our, our boys and girls so for the middle school of Jay Vanis, this is Junior Vanis, uh, we had the opportunity to host the tournament here. So we had four different schools competing. Um, and we also had success. And, uh, 
the middle school boys got first place, and they were sportsmanship team of the year. They won sportsmanship, and the middle school girls won, won first place as well as, as having that tournament MVP. It was, you know, we're a small school, but we were powerful. 